What's up everybody and welcome to Not Your Grandfather's Vlog. This is the part on my YouTube channel where I just, it's more personal, I talk about myself and experiences that I've gone through and etc. Uh, this is different from my overstimulation station videos where it's more high production value and it's I'm usually covering some entertaining aspect. For instance, Adam Sandler's comedy CDs, which I put out recently. Um, if any of you know anything about me at this point, uh, you should surmise that I'm pretty self-reliant. I don't like relying on anybody for anything ever, usually. Um, in fact, I don't even borrow anything from anybody. That's how, I mean, if I really need something, I just go out and I buy it myself so I own it. I make that investment, you know? So that way, I, I just never want to be responsible for other people's stuff. I want to have my own shit. And it's kind of libertarian in, in a sense, you know? It's like, I'll have my shit over here, and, you know, I live in my world, and you do your thing, and just don't bother me kind of deal. So I moved out to this new neighborhood, right? Living on my own. And it's surprising the amount of people who just walk up and will knock on your fucking door like it's a public park soliciting their various services to you. I've had uh, three or four separate people solicit to offer to mow my lawn. That's what this vlog is about. Some lawn mowing stories. Just kidding. Well, not really. You'll find out. I was talking on the phone in my house one time, and my blinds were up, so the window, you could see through it. And this woman sees me talking on the phone in my window, and she starts going like this, and getting closer. And get, sir, hello, sir. And, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So I open my window, and I go, yeah, how can I help you? And she's like, oh, you, you gonna cut your own grass? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, oh, okay, you gonna cut it? And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna cut it. She goes, oh, okay, and she walks across to, what the fuck? But the real story that I'm t talking about here is my next door neighbor, all right? Um, like I said, I grew up in the country. Nobody goes up to each other's houses in the country if you don't know that person. Typically, there's a fence, first of all, and then you have to open the fence, or you have to open the gate and walk all the way down their driveway to the house. No one's going to do that out in the country. It's crazy. People can get shot for doing that out in the country. There's some paranoid individuals that live out there. That's why they live out in the country. Well, here in a neighborhood, not a gated community, not the suburbs, just a neighborhood. Roads run through it. Anyone can just drive through it. It's a pass-through road for some people. You got a lot of random motherfuckers that will walk up to your door. So my neighbor across the street did that. I don't know this guy from Adam, and I opened the door, and I was like, yeah, you know, what do you want? Why are you, why are you knocking on my door? And he goes, Hey man, uh, I, I, I'll cut your lawn for you. Just want to let you know, I, I, I do her lawn and, and your this neighbor's lawn and that person's lawn and that person's lawn, and uh, you know, I'm just like, okay, thanks, but no thanks. You know, I'll, I'll do it if I want it done. I will get it done somehow, and it's a pain in the ass to cut my lawn because I'm renting this place. I'm not gonna invest in a fucking lawn mower. You know, I'm renting. You know, that's just another thing I'd have to take with me if I removed. So if I want to mow my lawn, my mom has to transport their lawnmower over here in their SUV. It's just a whole pain in the ass. Then Jacksonville gets hit with like a month's worth of rain. And so my backyard is just getting out of control. The grass gets really high and I'm just thinking to myself, you know, that neighbor might just be easier to pay this guy a 20 spot and just get it taken care of. So in my break of character, I see him outside in his yard one day, and I walk across the street, walk up to him, I go, hey man, you still uh, doing yards and all that? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, st I'm still doing it. And I was like, okay, so uh, $20 you said, and you, you can't do my whole yard, that's that's what's going on? He's like, yeah man, I'll, I'll make it look real good for you, don't worry, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, all right, well, you know, d just, I work nights, and I, you know, sleep during the early parts of the day, so, um, because he was wanting to mow it in the morning when it's cooler, whatever, I was like, I'll just leave the money under the mat, and just, you know, kind of don't disturb me, essentially. Oh, okay, yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. So then the next day comes, and I hear this guy, I wake up, of course, because I'm such a fucking light sleeper, I, I, like, sensed that there was somebody in my yard, I woke up, and I heard a lawn mowing sound, I was like, okay, the guy's mowing my lawn, and... So, 
I hear the lawn. He's got the shittiest lawnmower, first of all. It's like. That's literally how the thing ran constantly. It sounded like it was about to sputter out any minute. And uh, if anyone wants to make a video clip of me just going over and over again, yeah, by all means, do a YouTube poop of that. But anyway, um, this guy does that. So he finishes a job. And, and he's done. So I wake up the next day, lawn's mowed, he took his money. Great! Far as I'm concerned, business transaction over. So two days go by, and 11 a.m., I'm asleep, and I hear... <laughs> Fucking hate that sound living out here. Living on my own, not expecting anybody to come over. Like three people know where I live to begin with, and this guy's knocking at my fucking door. So I get up, neighbor from across the street. He wants more money. That's right. The business transaction apparently was not over because he said that the grass was so long, he keeps doing this gesture here to denote length. I guess that's why he's in his late 50s and still mowing lawns for a living. And he's not a lawn care service, mind you. He's a dude with one lawn mower that barely works. So not to piss on lawn services, because I know you can make some good money at that if you're legitimate, which this guy is not. So he's asking me, he's waking me up first of all, which I'm pissed off already, and then he's, he, he has the balls to ask me for more money two days after he performed his service. Now I would understand 100% day of, after he's, maybe after he's done, Asking, hey, man, that took a lot more work. You didn't tell me how long the grass was. Could you, you know, maybe kick in a few extra bucks for that? I'll, I'd be annoyed, but still understandable. But he waits two days. Who does that? I'll tell you who does that. Drug addicts do that. Because he's mowing lawns. Because he can't do anything else. Probably because he wouldn't pass a background check. Or he might not even have identification to get a job because of stupid decisions he made a long time ago. So I'm theorizing that he took the money I gave him and bought whatever drug of choice he might be doing at the time, runs out of money two days later and thinks, huh, I have got a job in my mode. I might be able to squeeze a few more dollars out of him if I tell him that it was a lot of work and you know, tell him that the grass was really long. So that's what he did. Thought about not giving him the money just on principle alone. But then I started thinking about it and I was like, this guy's gonna continue to fucking knock on my door day after day until I just give him the money. And I just fucking hate it when I'm right in the middle of something or I'm trying to concentrate on something and I hear <laughs> by a complete fucking stranger. That is just, it, it's like, what? Leave. You're not invited here. You have no reason to be knocking on my fucking door. So much so that I actually went out to Home Depot and I bought a no soliciting sign and I put it on my front door. It looks tacky as hell, but I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, this house is a business office and there is no soliciting here because making YouTube videos and music and all that shit is my business now. And that's all this house is for. I am no parties here, nothing like that. So I told him I'd pay him back later. And I didn't hear from him for about another day or so. Then I'm recording my podcast that I do, and I'm recording it on Wednesday. And yet again, in the middle of the podcast, and I get up, and it's, it's Guy again. Lawnmower Guy. He, I, hey, man, I was, just, I was just wondering if you are going to take, take care of me, man. Yeah, I ought to fucking take care of you. Bah! Right in the face how I should have taken care of you motherfucker walking up to my doorstep third time now so I just I just gave him 10 bucks and pretty much told him to go fuck himself I said we're done we are done you hear me here's 10 more bucks $30 to mow a small little backyard I think we're fucking even at this point so then the next day, another guy knocks on my door to mow my lawn, but this this was a totally different guy. He's like some, I think he was pretty slow upstairs, and uh, yeah, he, he knocks on my door, and he's asking to do my lawn, and I'm like, what the fuck is up with all these people who are mowing lawns? 
Are there like gold nuggets buried in my- are there, are there truffles buried in my backyard that only they can smell and they're just dying to get back there? Good God. So, ever since I paid them off and I told them we're fucking done, don't come over here anymore, I haven't seen them, haven't heard from them. Hopefully I never do. Hopefully nobody comes up here anymore who's uninvited. Um, so yeah, don't rely on people because, you know, my little inner voice was telling me, don't, don't talk to this guy. Just do it yourself like you do everything else. And I should have listened because that was the exact thing that I wanted to avoid. Any kind of hassle, any kind of bothering me outside of the first initial grass cutting that you're supposed to do. This is why I don't rely on people for shit like, because shit like this happens and it just drives me nuts. So, that's the moral of the story. That's my lawnmower man story. Um, sorry it's not as uh, meaty and robust as some of my other vlogs, but I, I just wanted to, I don't know, I just thought that was a kind of a funny story. Do you guys think he was doing drugs? Do you think he was a drug addict? Or do you think he was just some kindly old man that I treated like shit and stiffed? I don't know, what do you think? Um, yeah, so I hadn't put out a vlog in like a few weeks to a month, so I figured it was time to pull one out. Hope you enjoyed it. Got some more entertaining videos coming down the pike for you very soon. And enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you.